with you. <laughs> don't worry. Hey, they don't fight hard, do they? <laughs> oh, yeah. Spade fish right there. Look at that. Come here, Randy. What do you think, darling? Oh my God. That's huh? beautiful. That is Spade beautiful. Fishing. How far from Hampton? 33 miles. That's it. I can't believe <laughs> right it. Right from the public piers. Unbelievable. You open that for me? Here we go. <laughs> Good job. Oh. Hi, I'm Jim Baugh. Today we'll take you on an exciting trip offshore fishing for trophy spade fish. We'll show you how to catch them and how to cook them up dockside on the Trojan 36 on the downtown Hampton waterfront. Stay tuned. about spade fishing. Now we're going to show you how to do the rigs and everything today, but you don't have to be anchored up right by the uh, tower. This whole area is an artificial reef uh, program. I mean, there's just tons of, of all kinds of wrecks, Randy. I mean, we've got uh, subway cars, World War II tanks, just about everything. And those spade fish will really hang above, you know, and around all of this uh, wreck structure. So again, you don't have to be sitting right on the tower. As long as you're anchored up out here, get your nice little chum slick going, you'll be in good shape. Yeah. Tim will like serve pizza up there. Wouldn't that be fun? That would. Hey, you see what we got for bait today? You're gonna love this. Jim's chum bucket. <laughs> what we got here, this has been marinating overnight. And you can see here, oh man. <laughs> I like Lovely. That. What that is, is that's a lot of cut clams, squid, and fresh bunker oil, not even been refined, fresh bunker oil. And that's been soaking overnight. We're gonna just, once we get all these rods set out, we're gonna take this bunker oil, we're gonna dump it overboard, get a little chum slick going. And we're actually gonna use our outriggers too. We're gonna set some on the outriggers, so we have some baits away from the boat, which is really cool. We're gonna be fishing right beside the boat, and we're also gonna have to do some bobber rigs. Isn't that cool? Right. I like the bait section. Very nice. It works, doesn't it? Rainy, this is what this looks like. Check this out. Now these are actually really long uh, squid strips. This is not for spade fish. We're going to try to do a little flounder fishing on the way back in. But here we have some nice marinated clam. Look at that. We'll cut that up in nice little pieces. And what happens is when this bait hits the water, this oil just disperses. And uh, boy, it really attracts spade fish. We have clam and we have little bits of squid. And most spade fish don't realize this, but spades love squid. They just love it. Little, this is actually a piece that's a little bit too big. I'll cut this in half and use that on one hook and then uh, a clam on the other. Works really, really well. See there? Now you can get this Menaden oil, fish oil, most tackle stops carry them. We picked these up, I believe at Bucko's, right there in Hampton. Now you wanna have one person dedicated to just doing this, right? You know why? Because this, this really stays on your hands for a long time. And uh, you know, you don't wanna be handling a lot of equipment and stuff when you've got this, you know, bunker oil on a three-way spade rig. Boy, it works good. And we'll set it out on the outrigger, get it away from the boat. Because these spade fish will just keep circling the light tower. And you gotta try, sometimes they'll get very, very finicky. You gotta try a variety of things. And this way we can throw a little bit of chum out to the outrigger. And for those really shy spade fish, they'll hit this. Chesapeake light tower. Lots of spade fish. Isn't that a good fight? Can you see him? Oh, yeah. Oh, keep him away from the boat now. 
Speed fish fight like crazy, they really do. Good fight, good eating. Now we started off a little slow this morning. Everybody's been catching fish but us. But uh, it's pretty much been boat position. All morning these fish have been getting closer and closer and closer to the tower, and we've been fishing the outside edges, the outside perimeter. So now that we're a little closer, keep pressure on him, we're starting to get the bites. Come on in, you got it? And so far today they like the bobber rig. Where'd he go? Come on. Come on. Oh, he's still down there. Keep, keep reeling. That's nope, off. that's it. That's it. Okay, bring it over here. There we go. Right there. Beautiful Chesapeake Bay spade fish. Right here at the light tower. Isn't that something? Here, you want to hold that? Hold that right there. Get my glove. Now, that is your first spade fish, my isn't it? My very first spade fish. I'm telling you. Oh, it's incredible. Isn't that beautiful? They're just mouth gorgeous, is. gorgeous fish. You have very small little mouths. That's why we use those little hooks. And that one right there, he's good size. Citation, I think, is only about nine pounds. Ah, oh, there he is. Go ahead, you got the net. Very good. Look at that. That is spade fish. That is Rini's first dock master, Hampton Public Piers. First spade fish, gorgeous, so delicious. Much. We'll cook them up for you tonight. You ready to do that again? Yes. Okay, do we'll do it. Go ahead and set that net in there. Oh yeah, beautiful spade fish. That's what we came for. Just gorgeous. Aren't those colors gorgeous? Are they dynamite? Yeah. Fantastic. You wanna open up the lid for me? One for dinner. And we are practicing the catch and release here today. Uh, but we're going to keep a few for dinner. Let's go ahead and get our line straight. Excellent. Congratulations. Uh, fish is right there. Check that right there. We have another fish on. Check right there. I believe we got another spinny fish on. Reel it in. Can we get this? Yes, we have another spade fish on. We have doubles. Go ahead and get them in and I'll get these lines straight. Now one thing that'll happen when you're spade fishing, if you're sitting here spade fishing and you're anchored up and you see all kinds of boats catching fish around you and you're not catching anything, don't worry, you're not doing anything wrong. A lot of times when you're spade fishing, they'll like to stay right around certain boats if they're chumming or, or whatever and they'll just hang there and no matter what you do, they won't move. So uh, keep your position, make around, make a few different uh, moves if you want to depending on tide or whatever. But they will eventually school around and come right to you. There we go, spade fish. All right, look at that. Excellent. Three, that's another beautiful, beautiful yes. spade fish. And this one hit on the bottom rig. I call it a bottom rig. It's just a double bottom dropper rig. That's all it is to it. And I've got these red hooks. You hand me the, oh, I got it right there. And that's it. Look at that spade fish. What do you think, Randy? Is that beautiful? It's gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm loving it. Love them, huh? Love it. Wait till you try these things for dinner. Can't Fantastic. wait. You ready to get all these lines straight and yep. do it again? Let's do it. All right. You want to grab the box for me? Yep. Go ahead and lift that bad boy up. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Just one will do. Whoa, listen to that scream. Incredible. Wow, have you ever seen fish like this before, Randy? Never. This is incredible. It's so close to Hampton. Man, look at that. Okay, you want me to help you now? Let me know when you're ready. Okay, I'm, I've got this one right. Okay. Almost here. I don't see mine yet. There he goes again. The spade fish is pulling me into the tower. <laughs> Okay. Oh, there we go. Hey, fish. How you doing, Rainy? Uh, he keeps going back out, but I'm getting back in. Oh my gosh, this is incredible.
Get him, girl. I'm working on it. Or should I say he's working on me? Are you ready to go step on this box when we go? Uh-huh. Ah. Another spade fish. Man, we are in them thick. How you doing, girl? You got him? Look at all of those spade fish. Look at all of them. Look at them. They're about oh, there he is. In. You might have a citation. Oh, wow. Look how big he is. Oh, oh my God. Look at the size of that. Really? That's a citation, girl. What do you think? Oh, my God. I don't believe That's it. That's a citation right there. That's this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Trophy, trophy spade fish right here at the light tower. I'm going to show this to you. Police that rod for him. Oh, Hooked again. Okay. Look at this. Woo! Big space fish. Oh my god. You wanna get that net for him? <laughs> now that's spade fish right there. Look at that. Come here, Randy. What do you think, darling? Oh my god. That's huh? beautiful. That is Spade beautiful. Fishing. How far from Hampton? 33 miles. That's it. I can't believe <laughs> it. Correct from the public beers. Unbelievable. Hey, we're going to show you how to fillet a spade fish. We had a good time today. Hey, right that right, guys? Yeah. Yeah, we were all out of the Chesapeake Light Tower today with Doc Master and Reenie. Y'all staying in public beers? Y'all staying here? Staying, staying right here. Incredible. Tons of spade fishing. Just millions of them. Hey, he's flying. Aren't these things delicious? Absolutely. They are so good. <laughs> well, all we're going to do is we're just going to come under the, right behind the head like this. And I tell you the truth, I fillet these just like I fillet. I try to fillet all my fish, and that is to get somebody else to do it. No. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I love to fillet fish. I'd rather fillet them than catch them. Just come right down here, right down the side. And you do not need a scaler. Now this is going to make for a very wide fillet. Come right down the backbone. Just touch the backbone like this. Stick your finger in the side. Now spade fish is a delicious white meat. Very, very, very thick, very firm. And it's delicious fried, broiled, just about any way you like to fix fish, spade fish is delicious. Now it helps if you have a long knife, actually one longer than I have. Just come around the back side like this. Now you do have the rib cage right here. What I like to do is just cut right around the rib cage. You lose a little bit of meat here, but, but not much. Come right down that rib cage and then cut right across the back. That's all you do. And you've got a totally boneless fillet. But we do have some skin on it. So we're going to turn him around like this. Go down to the skin, then turn the knife the other direction and fillet right down the skin. And you have a perfect boneless fillet right there. Absolutely delicious. Very little waste. That's all there is to it. And now it's time for the producer's note. Oh, this is going to be good. Hey, we're back on the Trojan. We're on the camera boat. And we're in the galley. This is where we like to cook up our wonderful seafood dishes after we get back off the water. Well, we've got spade fish. I'm going to show you a great spade fish recipe. This is a whole bag of filleted spade fish, and boy, they are absolutely delicious. You notice I've got a little, uh, well, sauce in here, a flavor enhancement. What this flavor enhancement is, is some delicious home brew. Yes, the name of this recipe is Uncle Bill's Home Brewed Spade Fish. Because what we've got is some home brew, some porter, right here in the bottle. Great way to flavor fish, good for uh, chicken and seafood. We just, all we did is just poured it into the bag, and we also added some wonderful green jalapeno sauce. Very good. Adds just a little bit of spice to it. 
And you want this to marinate for really only about a couple hours, that's all you need. Shake it up good. You got your whole bag of fillets. Now this is not going to be a beer batter mix. You could do a beer batter mix if you wanted to by simply adding a lot more of the beer into the flour itself. And you don't have to worry about the alcohol content because it just all cooks out anyway. But what we're going to do with this is we're going to take these fillets and then we'll just simply dredge them into the flour like so. That's all we do. Nice light coating. And then we will fry them on our outside grill. We've got a wonderful little grill outside the Trojan. Hangs off the back of the boat and we cook steaks on there and all kinds of stuff. Gr great for grilling seafood. But this is absolutely delicious. Spade fish is a great, great, great dinner. They're beautiful white fillets. And this is just a light little batter. I'm using house autry with a little extra garlic and Caribbean jerk seasoning but a very, very, very good recipe. And we'll just pan fry these with a little bit of olive oil. Take about maybe five, 10 minutes on each side. And that's it, absolutely delicious. Look at those fillets, aren't they pretty?